Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dominique and I'm a medical lab scientist and I started working at a new hospital. My new job is in clinical microbiology and this week is my orientation. So uh, I've actually completed all of my orientation. I did not vlog because it's not that exciting, but um, just a quick recap. Monday was my first day, obviously, at the hospital and it was like an introduction to the health system and the hospital and the C-suite came and did like a presentation for all the new employees going through this orientation class. Tuesday was just strictly online modules. I'm talking eight hours straight of new hire modules. I also had to do a safety tour for the entire pathology department, which included clinical pathology and anatomical pathology. Um, of course, all that information is important, but my main takeaways was biosafety um, because I am going into a BSL-3 for this microbiology lab, so per. Wednesday was epic training. I'm coming from an LIS called SunQuest. So I don't really have epic experience besides reading chart information, but y'all, that beaker training was an all day affair. It was six hours long, <laughs> six hours long. And as far as microbiology goes, um, the instructor went over like how to set up plates and result out molecular testing, which was pretty straightforward, but she lost me with the plate reading and beyond. I'm gonna have to learn Epic as I progress more through training, but it is nothing, nothing like SunQuest. <laughs> and I don't know if that's a good or bad thing, but um, it's a steep learning curve. So yeah, yesterday, which was Thursday, was just reading policies all day long. I got as far as the general lab policies and safety policies and administrative policies and then today, which was more policy reading, but it was more departmental based. So I was assigned microbiology and molecular um, procedures to read today, which I'm, I kind of wanted to make sure to spend my focus on um, specimen receiving, especially rejection criteria, because microbiology has a lot of that. As far as molecular testing, I'm familiar with everything um, except the biofire panels like I've only ever ran the blood culture identification panel but like they do respiratory and gastrointestinal and meningitis and some more that I'm not familiar with um, in the past at my old hospital I would have batched those tests to um, be done at another hospital so I didn't have to do it I was I made sure to look over those policies <laughs> I do have my schedule for the next two weeks I'm going to start training in bacteriology to read plates and I think it's gonna be urines but don't quote me I don't remember tonight I think or at least over the weekend I'm going to pull my notes from undergrad and go over my dichotomous keys and stuff as a refresher because I have not seen that information in at least a year or more so I I need to <laughs> I need to study <laughs> but yeah I do have a video to edit um, it's actually my life update video that I was supposed to get out two weeks ago, but life happened and <laughs> I didn't have a chance to do it. I also have a project to get started on for my computer science class and then I also need to study for work so that I'm prepared for Monday. So I'm booked and busy and I'm going to talk to y'all later. Okay, so I have an unboxing to do with you guys and this is in collaboration with another fellow MLS named Megan. She has an Etsy shop called Live Lab Love Co. and I will link it in the description box below. But she sent me some things to share with you guys in today's video. She um, left me a little note. Aw, oh, thank you so much for collaborating with me. I hope you enjoy these shirts. Happy holidays. Happy holidays, girl. So this is what she sent me. And we'll go through each shirt. I can't wait to share these with you. I did link her story in the description box below. Her custom designs are so cute and funny. Like, <laughs> some of them are hilarious. <laughs> Let's support our, our small businesses, especially ones related to our lab community. So, yes. Here's the first shirt and it says, run QC, QC fails, redo QC fails, <laughs> cow fails, recal pass, run QC fails, give up, go home and repeat. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is so chemistry. I can't wait to wear this to work. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Jellyfish, how cute is that? <laughs> we have band of bands. Ah! <laughs> that is so cute. 
cute. That is so cute. <laughs> Aw, this is like her logo. Live, laugh, love. And then Grand Positive Coxi in chains. Aw! <laughs> They're literally in chains. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. <laughs> Oh man. Aw, oh, and this one. Holly Jolly Body. Get it? Because <laughs> it's a Holly Jolly. Oh, that's funny. Y'all have to work the holidays on Christmas, so I'm definitely going to wear this one to work. <laughs> Those are so cute. Thank you so much, Megan. I'm happy to announce a giveaway, my first giveaway on the channel. Two winners will receive a free shirt from Megan's shop. And if you would like to enter, please go to the description box and fill out the Google form. That is your submission. And it will also contain more details pertaining to like the rules for the giveaway and stuff like that. As far as the Google form goes, it will ask a few questions. One will be to get your email for a form of contact. And there will be some more questions just to kind of give you a chance to share your journey to the lab. I share my journey, so I want to know yours so that we can kind of get to know each other in our community. Um, yeah, two winners will be chosen and announced in two weeks. So stay tuned for that. I'm so excited. <laughs> and thank you so much, Megan, for partnering with me for this collaboration. This, now that I work in microbiology, this one is so cute. I love that all of her designs are pertaining to like a different department in the laboratory. So that's just amazing, girl. Keep doing your thing and we love to see it. <laughs> so one thing that I learned about the new job is I have no dress code. I wear whatever I want. So the first thing that I did was go ahead and order new scrubs because I'm so tired of that charcoal gray color. So I got a package in the mail of my new scrubs that came in today. And these are from um, Uniform Advantage. This is not sponsored. I bought them myself but I wanted to do a try on haul. I think it's pretty cute. Um, the pants are a jogger style and they fit pretty snug. I can see myself wearing these to work. They feel like Cherokee Revolution. If, you've, if you're familiar with those scrubs, they feel just like it. Really comfortable, really fit and snug. This is it in black. Of course, this is just a regular t-shirt, but these are the scrub pants. And I also got a new scrub jacket, um, just to kind of wear like if I'm not in the laboratory, because we do have to wear hospital provided lab coats, not, I can't just wear this. But yeah, this is the scrub coat. And it fits pretty nice as well. All together, I don't know how much I paid, but I think 40. Around 40 for each set and then 30 for the scrub coat, so nice. All right, so I just got home from an apartment tour. So let me tell y'all that the only thing I do not like about this job so far is the damn commute. When I tell you yesterday, it took me two hours to get home. I left the hospital at five o'clock. I didn't walk in the door until like 7.15 and that's not okay. That's not okay long term. I'm not gonna last. The hospital is just too far from where me and my boyfriend live currently. So um, we actually began apartment hunting for me, for me to have a place to go that is near my job so that I don't have to commute so far away. It's been a horrible ordeal in itself because the prices here in Atlanta are freaking ridiculous. But anyway, I've narrowed my search down to one place. I did just come back from touring the apartment. Um, and I'll insert a few pictures. But it's a studio apartment, which is just perfect. It's just for me. It's like a mini version of our house that we own. So it's just, it's just really expensive, but I'll be all right. I'm, I'll still be able to live comfortably to afford the rent here in Atlanta, so. But I absolutely fell in love with the complex. They have everything that I would need to basically feel at home. So I did apply to the apartment today for a 14 month lease. <laughs> um, and I'm supposed to hear back sometime next week. But yeah, it looks like I have some moving to do soon. I know this vlog wasn't too eventful. Um, I was just kind of doing orientation this week, so I didn't really have anything going on. But um, it's just part of a new job. I have to get all this stuff out of the way for compliance and training, so just doing it. But yeah, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to keep up with my journey in the lab. And I'll see y'all later. Thank you.